Hello, and welcome to the Any% Percent Glitchless Tutorial for Genosic, or Genosic, or however you pronounce it. First, I will be going through the rules and explaining each one, and showing video to show what you can and can't do. And then I'll be going through the entire game, showing you what coins to get, how many comrades you should have, etc. Anyways, if you are new, you should join the Discord server. Me and other runners will be very happy to help you out if you have any questions. And also linked below will be the Steam download link and the speedrun boards. On to the rules. Okay, so here are the rules. Beat the game from a fresh file, newly open game without having anything unlocked prior. So in this game, if you unlock something before and you don't close your game and start another one you'll have the things that you unlocked from earlier so I'm gonna show you right now exactly what I'm saying so right now I don't have the double jump ability that I'm about to buy I can't do it if I pause and pause I don't have double jump okay I'm gonna buy the double jump okay now since I have double jump say I end the game Oh no. Okay, good. And start a new one. Um, I'm gonna cut to the end. Okay, this is the end of the cutscene. If I pause and pause, I'll have double jump, see? So this is only allowed in the New Game Plus categories, since you have it unlocked from the previous game. The way to get rid of this is simply closing your game and reopening it. If you don't buy anything and you reset before purchasing anything you don't have to close your game and that's the first rule okay rule number two infinite roll glitch is banned so how to get the infinite roll glitch is if you roll if you're okay first look at my controller my x button is roll and my pause button is the um select button on xbox i use xbox running this game so to get the infinite roll glitch, you roll, pause, press roll again, and let go. You can do this really fast, but this is a glitch as it makes you invincible. You can get rid of it from falling off, or just swinging your sword. So this is banned in only using glitches and new game plus, new game plus and stuff. It is also possible getting the infinite roll glitch while rolling and talking to someone. So you have to be careful, especially at the end when you talk to the final NPC. It is possible to get the infinite roll glitch if you're in the middle of the roll and you talk to them. To make sure you don't get this, just don't roll before talking to someone during glitchless. Okay, so the final glitch that we have found right now that is banned is checkpoint abuse so what checkpoint abuse is if you do not save whatever you collect before dying you actually keep and you just respawn at the beginning so this also goes with along with coins and comrades so it's basically duplication and this is banned because it's a glitch very self explanatory the way to avoid this is as long as you save before at least your first death it won't it won't duplicate so if you die without a save your run is invalid and then of course if any new glitches are found they will be banned to and added to the rules so check the rules if you're watching this at a later date on to the gameplay Okay, on to the actual game now. So you're going to want to start from a new game, from a fresh file. Make sure you don't have anything unlocked in the run prior. You already know you have to close the game if you bought stuff or else it will keep. So the intro cutscene is just about 40 seconds long. So 12 comrades are taken away from Genosic. And he needs to save them. Also, at the end of this cutscene, there's going to be a black ring that zooms out. You can move during it. 
So just hold right here and just be ready to roll. And then jump once and then jump twice. Spam Y or whatever your um, talk is at the top of the second hill. Jump up immediately, grab this key, save the game just in case you die. Go back down. There's some coins down there. And there's some coins past this wall that are kind of slow. If you're if you're going to be bad the f battles you're definitely going to want as many coins as you want because you're going to be able to buy health potions at the end. Speaking of health potions, you're going to want to grab that one all the way to the left. And then you have to climb up here and save the first comrade. This will unlock the gate to go on to the next section. First thing you want to do is go into this area, get like the 11 coins, whatever you get from it. Activate the door in that switch. Jump down, you might take damage. There is a health potion here. And you just keep going. After this tunnel, there's a heart. And each comrade you save gives you a heart. So I'm at one heart. If I save this comrade, I'll get two. Okay, for the coins, you definitely have to go past these walls. They give a lot of coins. Also, during this game, you're going to do a lot of rolling, since it's so much faster. If you're low health and you don't feel confident, you can just die next to a save, but make sure you save first. So after this, you're going to want to run up here, get the 8 coin from here, jump across, enter this door, get the what was it, 15 coins there. If you need the heart, grab it. But you're going to need 100 coins after this boss. Well, you're only going to need like 15. I mean 85 after it since you'll get like 15 on the way to buying it. Always activate that save. This spot you can die easily. I am actually... Nope. But it's very easy to die in that section. So I highly recommend. I'm going to die and reset my health. Why? Why did I get hit? That's so annoying. The, these green guys with the axes don't attack, they throw the axe. These red guys charge at you. So you can just stand next to them. So go up here, grab that health potion, you should have three by now. And you're going to want to be at full health before this fight. So during this fight you're going to want to jump and just keep attacking constantly. And you're going to have to use one health potion. So just jump and just keep attacking this spider. Once you're down to one health, Use your health potion. Just keep jumping and slicing. Wow, I was one close. I was very close to being it. Ideally, you don't have to use two potions there, but sometimes if you have bad hits, you're gonna have to. Make sure you grab that health potion, get these coins. Make sure you always have three coins, three hearts before this, because this is a hard fight. It's a hard fight if you only use one potion. Using two, you'll be fine. Maybe at the end, be more careful like that. And then, it dropped a diamond, so... There you go, I'm at like 95 coins. You're gonna wanna drop down this way. Grab these coins if you want. So don't go into this room to grab that gun, because there's just a faster gun. Right here, as long as with the diamond. So you're gonna want 100 per coin, 100 coins before entering um, the tree. The more, the better, because the less you have to pick up later, or the more potions you can buy in the future. So now we have double jump. So now we'll be able to make it past this water. Right now, water kills you. The next upgrade is worth 100 toy coins. And it gives you the ability to swim in water. It's a ring. So first you want to go grab, go into these rooms. Actually, I'm going to die first to reset the health. That's probably what I should have done. So after you enter this room, you just re-enter it since there's nothing in that first section. It's just a bait. You want to grab both the diamonds in that room. That gives you easy toy coins. A lot of coins in here. 
Okay, once you pick up this gun, say you don't have ammo ready, don't use any until this wall. Because the key is past this wall. So one, two, three, four. And don't fall in the water. Unfortunate. The eight coin fell in the water. So save here. If you're like one or two health, you might as well just die with full health. Oops. And the next coin is going to be down this hallway. You can double jump up here. You don't need to use the ammo here because the dragon can destroy it. So you just jump twice and then you follow. And you just keep rolling. Don't fall in that water. And two out of the four coins you need before revisiting the tree. The next two are behind this door. So you want to enter this with either two or four health three or four hearts so then you start full enter right first you want to go up here oops activate this door save the comrade since you have to to complete the game and then grab this health potion back to three and then the third key is here and the last key is at the exit. You get full health from that. Very useful. And I would, ideally you'll have 1 toy coins here. Here, let me show you what I should have done. So for the tutorial, before entering this room, there's a lot of coins up here. Like 4, 10, and a chest worth of coins. And then... Double jump here so you don't fall in the water. There's also a bunch of coins up here. So I have 145 so I can also buy a health potion now. So I'm going to buy the swimming ring. And then the health potion. You only need one toy to complete the game. But having 145 or how much more is better. Because you get more health potions. So you buy the swimming ability. The fifth key is there. And now since you have five keys... You're going to be able to fight this boss. Because it caught, do five keys across. Okay, the way to defeat this boss is you stay close and you just keep swinging and rolling. Ideally, you just swing, but you have to roll to catch up. Okay, every time you're at one heart, use the health potion. Just stay on him. Stay on him. And there you go. After this boss, you're going to want seven comrades. So the seventh one's above here. You can grab it before or after the fight. I prefer grabbing it after. You can cut through here. And then this gold key, if you roll off that first cloud, brings you here. So you need to unlock that bronze door. So first you go through here. Swim. And then the key is to the right here, next to the skull sign. It's up here. You don't need any more coins to beat the game, but there's a possibility if you have 200, you can buy bombs. And I'll show you where that is. Save before you go here. You got the bronze key, so go through the bronze door. Luckily, there's a full health here. Just navigate through it. The key's gonna be in the water pass here. Um, actually, no. After here, you're probably not gonna be like high health, so you just go back up here and save just in case. Maybe die to reset your health. So, during this video, just make sure to follow my path. So, you're gonna wanna swim through here. Honestly, you can just damage boost all here since after this there's a save. As long as you have one heart up to here. Just roll past that spider. And then you can die for more health. So stay to the right of this ladder and swing immediately to destroy that spider. Right, left, right, left. There's a health potion here. Activate the door. Make sure you get the ammo and save. And then die for full health for safety. 
Okay, this is the water boss. So, there's a really easy way to destroy it if it spawns on... So you're gonna wait here with the one bullet at least. And once it rises from here, you shoot the barrel and then it does so much damage. Also, the, the gun doesn't do damage unless you swing after every attack. It's stupid. So every time you shoot, you have to attack after. So attack. Or else the bullet doesn't do damage. So as long as you get this big explosion, it really makes the boss fight much easier. Okay, on to the final section. You need four keys before getting, going over there. So you need eight fireballs. Didn't mean to fall through there, but... Eight fireballs... Four to destroy the first one, and then four after. So you want to drop through there, so you can grab the silver key fast. Opposed to, um, going all the way through. Except for breaking through this wall and going all the way through, you can just fall through here, and it's a shortcut. So after this, you want to do this basement section, so go to the bottom right. Here, I'm at one heart, so I'm going to save and die. So, this part is the boulder section. It's pretty difficult. If you just double jump, sometimes it doesn't let you double jump. Like, you hit it as you do it. But that boulder will instantly kill you, and falling in these holes will instantly kill you. If you want, grab this heart afterwards. And then there's going to be a key right here. And then once you return, there's another section you have to go down here for. And this is where the third key I get is. You can see up there. I hate how slow down you get from that. So here's the key. And then you're out. And then there's one last key you need, so you're going to break through this. Open these doors, oops. Save this comrade, because you're going to need 12 at the end, it's a part of the route. After here, save. And the final key is located at the top of here. Oops, I fell. So to the right, see it says the key, there's a full heart here. And four keys are what you need before. There, In this, there's a health potion here if you need it. And on to the final, before you enter this giant building you should have eight comrades. One from in here and then the seven from before. So you're going to jump up here go to the right activate the door to save this ninth comrade I might die here come on platforms I don't want to die do they just not spawn I thought it was that one health okay save and die there's a comrade to the right here up here oh wait I saved the comrade that gave me a health there's a health potion down here if you want to grab it. Wow, sometimes it just doesn't let you double jump. So if you want that health potion, go down there, but you need to save the comrade. Go up here to activate this door. Just run through here. Save. So I save here, and then you can't get past that door unless you go over here, and you have to go through this maze. And there's the way doing it without damage. And then it activates that door, we've been here before, but... And then you can open this door, and save if you're at low health. And then you can just force a death. Okay, you should have one more key left. You go up here, jump onto these spikes. Okay. Make sure you don't accidentally roll while talking to this person. 
Always stay on him and try swinging. Every time he at one heart, use the health potion. Just stay on him and swing. Just stay on him and swing. And every time you hit one heart, use the health potion. You can shoot too. Sometimes he uses the invincibility too much. I'm at one heart, so use a potion. It's hard to line up the shots. Well, I got a lot of hits there, I think. Yeah. Okay. So ideally, you only use like three potions there or whatever. You have to save this comrade, and there's one more to save. After you grab this golden key, um, you go to the left here, activate this door, and here is the twelfth and final comrade. So since I'm at low health, I'm gonna die. And this section is the final boss. So be sure not to um, roll while talking to them or else you'll get the glitch. Just like all the other fights, just try staying on them and swinging. Just try staying on them and swinging. Oh wait, I forgot to show something. Can I leave? No. So there's an extra heart in the tower. I'll show you after this, just in case you need it. it. Makes this fight easier, and the fight before you get it before the fight. So you just stay on and swing, stay on and swing. Oh, I'm at one heart. Use the health potion. Almost missed that. And then once it's over, you press Y on the sheep, and that's where the time ends. So those fights can be easier, the final two fights, if you grab the heart at the end, which I'll show after this. So... If you continue game. So before the second to last fight. Here, let me just get up there. Let me die. I totally forgot about this. I'm sorry that I didn't do it in the run when I made it easier. So you jump from this spike, the platforms there do it, if not the spike. So if you jump up here and go down this ladder, here I had to die. But if you jump up here, go down this ladder, there's a heart here. And slippery pl platform that isn't used anywhere else. So you can have seven hearts before this fight and then have it for the last fight. And that is the glitchless tutorial. Just make sure when you talk to people, don't roll. And yeah. GG.